Hi everyone, it's a Tuesday afternoon weather update on a pretty nice day today. It is cool, but it's not as breezy as yesterday, and we've had a little bit of sunshine poking through the clouds from time to time. Here's a live look at 2.08 p.m. on our Window World weather camera here in Youngstown and down in Boardman. Uh, we have clouds, some peaks of sun, and it's definitely a jacket and sweatshirt kind of a day, and it's one of those days where we're reaping the uh, benefits, in quotes, uh, of being downwind of the Great Lakes. You know, we live in a cloudy part of the world because of the Great Lakes, and today's one of those days where it's bright and sunny out in east-central Ohio, but northeast Ohio, with the wind coming off of Huron and then off of Erie, and of course western New York's kind of in the same boat with the wind off of Lake Ontario, you tend to see clouds as we get into the fall and winter seasons, but nothing really coming out of those clouds. Temperatures only in the lower 50s, about 5 or 6 degrees, 7 degrees below the average for this time of the year. It's going to be a cold night tonight, colder than last night, because the sky will clear some, and look what you'll wake up to tomorrow morning. Temperatures near 30, even some upper 20s a possibility, especially in western PA, where the clouds will take a little bit longer to return. But those clouds will roll in tomorrow, keeping temperatures on the cool side again tomorrow. And yes, I think there'll be some rain with those clouds for Wednesday and Wednesday night. little temperature spike on Thursday before we turn cooler again by Thursday night and Friday. We're going to talk about the Indians' forecast for Game 1 and Game 2, most importantly Game 2, which could feature some rain. We're going to talk about the end of the week, the weekend, next week, all sorts of great stuff on Weather for Weather Geeks this evening, uh, including a few more hints about the winter forecast, which will debut online and on TV early to middle portions of next week. So stay tuned for all those details, and hope you have a great rest of this Tuesday.